Hello there! Welcome back to Notch! Where I still want to know why I'm doing this. I'm questioning why I have my mouse all the way over there. Oh, this is going to be an interesting uh, turn of events. You never liked me, right, Rika? Okay, she might have, but knew the consequences. Everyone has to know the consequences. It's just that I don't care for them. <laughs> I want to do shit my way, damn it. <laughs> I don't care. All oh, the sweet words you said were phony, right? Could be. You became a mute and and mate with me because you wanted to gain my confidence and then took everything away from me and I I'm uh, am I right? Maybe he said Isashi no that's not true I'm so sorry Wish I recorded a little bit earlier. Everyone was gone then. But knowing me, I didn't think nor care. <laughs> I was just doing my thing. <laughs> uh, fuck, I'm lazy. Look at it. I need to do better. Eh, hey, who cares? I'll have to do. I'll have to work harder today. <laughs> doing uh, getting ready just in case. <laughs> So, I'm so naive. I have been foiled by you for so long. And whose problem's that? <laughs> if I had known who you were, then I wouldn't have lost everything. Okay, someone needs to get beat with a Bible. <laughs> That's where we're going here. <laughs> you killed my mom. Are you happy now, Rika? I'm gonna assume yes when the answer is no. <laughs> Everything has to be freaking horrifying with me. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know, I changed her voice from the when I originally did, so don't judge me. Stop saying that. That one works too. Both work. Besides, sorry, what else can you say? I can say your name. <laughs> no. He's actually sorry, I Yes. Brain, why you do this? In the name of the pact conjured up by the devil. Um what do you want me to do? Why do you keep on coming back? I'm in the middle of torturing her! Oh. Cut off her tongue. I want to see if I would. S if the word sorry is covered on her tongue. Okay. Oh. Dude. Wait. In theory, does the uh, smell also come from taste? I'm not- I don't want to put too much thought into this. Brain will hurt and then drinking will occur. <laughs> I'm just- what the heck- okay, drinking water! I have water right here. Might be quiet, you guys might not be able to hear it. <laughs> I'm not even- I didn't even look at the freaking sound bar. <laughs> eh, too late. Yeah, I also got food in the other room. I can eat some of that. I haven't eaten a whole lot today. Eh, who cares? I'll do fine. After strong flashes, 
make their way into her mouth. Rika starts open spewing blood. On the other hand, not showing it is a good thing. Even though I would love to see this. <laughs> I know, it's cruel. But... In theory, it would make it more gruesome. Oh, come on, sorry, but I I love shit that gets dark. <laughs> like, of all this time, that's one thing I freaking love. <laughs> and later, something bloody spills out of her out of her mouth. The blood, the bloody tongue arrives. At Hisashi's hand. I would I would actually do better. Sex of people are upstairs <laughs> trying to sleep. I'm actually kind of recording this really early in the night too. <laughs> like I'm not kidding, we're like about 9.30. Kinda. <laughs> I know, it's, it doesn't seem early. It seems relatively late till you realize. <laughs> late in the night is like 2, 3, or 5 in the morning. <laughs> in the face of the devil's power, Rika is so helpless to keep and keep spitting blood. Oh. If this keeps up, she's gonna bleed to death. The tongue is there and not. A, not a vital organ, but you can bleed to death if you cut your tongue, if your tongue gets cut out, or get severe infections. <laughs> For those of you, don't do that to yourselves. Do not cut your tongue whatsoever. You could, you could get infections and that's not good. <laughs> like you, I don't have a lot of evidence to show, but if you think of it, there's bacteria in your mouth. How else do you think saliva is made? <laughs> there, there is no sorry on your tongue, Reith Erika. I was gonna say Reetha. <laughs> why did I, why did my brain? Why did I want to pronounce Reetha instead of Rika? Eh, that can be figured out later. <laughs> It looks like you are not an honest person. Ah. I know, the voice acting is not perfect. I have to be quiet, I cannot be loud. People s live ab above me. It sucks. <laughs> Forced with Hisashi's question, Rika keeps shaking her head. No, without a tongue, she can't say a word. Okay, technically she can say words, but the best option right now is trying not to bleed. <laughs> but, actually no. Yeah, you can still speak words, but it's very limited. I'm not kidding, it can be very limited. And I have a feeling that a lot of people can kind of get what you were saying, but yet... It's very hard. <laughs> like I said, your words are very limited. <laughs> and try to be precise with uh, certain words, it's gonna be even harder. I finally don't have to hear you saying sorry, Rika. Neither do I have to listen to your voice again. I'm so happy, Rika. I am not only happy that I chose this voice for this guy, but I can wreak havoc on my voice if done for long periods. <laughs> Thank God I have water down here, man. Thank God, man. Uh. You took everything from me, yet you have an easy consequence to say sorry to me. Well, 
No, no, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> and yet I'm saying things. <laughs> if Sari could bring everything back to me, then I would love to hear it. Then why did you cut off her tongue? <laughs> but it can't. No, oh, I was questioning why I had a cable. <laughs> then I realized. Don't you dare fall, controller. Don't you dare fall. It fell. <laughs> you got <it>, David. <laughs> and there we go. Now it's out of the way. And won't annoy me. And just annoy me more. <laughs> If sorry could say oh solve problems, then there wouldn't be any arguing or hatred. In fact, it would actually make it even worse. Please don't turn it into Minnesota. <laughs> of course, it's always unfiltered here. Why the heck should I care? Okay, I should care. Somewhat. So have to cut off your tongue besides I am so sick of hearing you say sorry no I'm not gonna say anything about that <laughs> you are a mute from now on technically she can still talk she just needs to learn how to talk without a tongue which is actually very hard and the question is, at what point did he cut the did the devil cut the tongue here? Because if it's just a tip, it'd be annoying. But yeah, it can be done. It's like halfway. It's like half the tongue. It can still be done. It's just even harder. And if it's the entire tongue, like all the muscles that are attached to it. Then there's no way for her to get that back without a synthetic tongue, if that makes sense. I know it, it sounds weird, but. And why am I getting into this? I want to qu I'm questioning at what point did it get cut off here, because. Because uh, there's only three spots I can actually kind of see it getting cut at, and or completely removed. And knowing that her mouth is full of blood, it has to be at least at the uh, back of the mouth to halfway. I can think of this after the episode. <laughs> Faced with Hisashi's provocative words, Rika has no response. She just sounds and stands there crying. Rika, raise Rika, raise your head and look at me. Well done. Don't you, didn't you hear what I said? Raise your head. Hearing Hisashi's roar, Rika trembles. Rika, no, she raises her head and stares at Hisashi in tears. Rika is still... Rem no. Rika, I still remember what you said to me. You said, no matter what happened or what becomes of us, you would always love me with all your heart. Right, Rika. At this point, it's best to run the fuck away. Doesn't matter who the hell this dude is. Run the fuck away and get the hell away from this person. I don't care who the hell you are. If someone's acting like this, get the fuck away from them. <laughs> On the other hand... Try your best to uh, stay calm and find the perfect chance to run the fuck away. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> After hearing what he said, Rika nods. 
So, you still love, you still loving me? Um, what the fuck else is she supposed to say? You could kill her at any moment. Like the heck? Are you? Well, knowing that you could kill her at any moment. <laughs> How is she gonna answer? She is unarmed. Her dad died, and she's in the and she's panicking. What else is she supposed to say? Outside of um stuff, but at that point, yeah. Might as well end the episode here. I'm gonna see you guys next time, and I hope all of you have a grand, wonderful time. See you guys next time.